Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Day to Day with Ray, with me, Ray Ray. It's actually uh, 11.30 at night, and um, today has just been kind of a ho-hum day. It's been very um, stormy and kind of icky and gross, and the air is so thick, and I actually woke up this morning. I felt horrible this morning. A lot of... Uh, chest congestion, coughing stuff up. It was really not the best. So I just got out of the shower and I did a face mask. My face looks shiny. It looks just dry. I need to put some lotion on it. But my face is all shiny and moisturized even though this patch right here is always dry. That's like this patch on my arm. I have no idea. I don't know what's going on with that. Let's just say I had a crazy, crazy day. But the whole reason for this video, as I'm sure you saw the title, is I got the Walmart Beauty Men's Grooming Limited Edition Box. Now, my hubby is not home. He actually, sorry, but I'm not picking my nose. I'm just itching it. Um, shit. He, uh got called away to work tonight so I'm just gonna open it and see what goodies is in here and show y'all so as you see I'm cutting it I'm taking the plastic off now oh it smells so manly yes yes okay so there we go there's the box oh this box feels um like textured like it feels okay if you're a school teacher you could probably relate to this um what we used to do with our autistic children is we we used to let them clean the desks with shaving cream now as crazy as that sounds it actually cleans the desks really well believe it or not in the room with all the little funky butts it makes the room smell nice but if you've ever touched a desk like with the little oily and residue but it's kind of like soft that's kind of how this box this is exactly what this box reminds me of otherwise i wouldn't have brought it up okay so let's see what's in it Ooh, so it says axe find your magic so that's what's in here and show us how you stay looking good at walmart men's grooming box hashtag it says tell us what you think Re rate and review your products on walmart.com oh i went somewhere okay so let's open up Ooh. and see what we got here there's only a few products so here's what we got so I'm going to set this over here. It says, looking good. Stay on top of your game with these products. You've got something, make it you. Brought to you by Axe. Find your magic. Hashtag men's grooming box. All right, so the first thing right off the top is a Chic Hydro 5 razor, which my husband will like this. So that's a nice razor. I don't know how much this retails for. Um... But uh, hydrating gel, reservoir, not a lube strip, instant lubricating protection. Um, I hate when my husband shaves his head. Like, I just, I don't know what it is about it, but I can't stand it. But his hair is thinning, and he has a very dry, scabby scalp. Like, it's just huge chunks of dandruff, and like his head like we put coconut oil and stuff on there oh, it's it's crazy not to put his business out there but when he shaves his head's just like all white and um maybe with the the lube will help it okay what else is in here mineral sage face body and face wash i actually use the doves men stuff myself let me see what this smells like because i love first of all i love dove Mmm, that smells good. I actually bathed my son in it. Like, I've never been one of those mothers that have been like, oh, my son's skin is so sensitive. I must bathe him in Johnson & Johnson. No. 
I use, I think I've been using Axe on him and Dove since, like, Men's Dove. Since he was, like, two or three. Because, I mean, he likes it anyway. He likes to be like Daddy, so whatever. What is this? Axe U Daily Fragrance. Little sample size. I guess this is their new fragrance. It smells. I think they all kind of. That actually smells really. It's very light. I'm like. Like you guys can smell it. Does it like tell you what the scents are supposed to be? Of course not. Because this is. You know how like Bath and Body Works is like, oh, scent of vanilla with passion fruit and mango. And this smells really good. I think my husband will definitely. He does like the Axe sprays. The thing is, is my husband actually does not wear deodorant. And he, everybody's probably like, oh my God, that's so fucking nasty. But no, he doesn't wear deodorant. He hardly sweats. Like, and if he does sweat, he does not stink. And one time he wore um, Old Spice deodorant because he can't wear the, like, the stick deodorant. It's like this one. And, oh my god, actually, no, this is Degree. I thought this was Dove. This smells good. Um, like, this he won't use, but I'll use it or I'll actually give it to my son because seven years old, oh my god. So, I'm, like, changing 2,000 different stories. First of all, with my husband, let's go back to that. He put on Old Spice deodorant one time. He had a chemical burn so bad. It was ridiculous. He couldn't put his arms down or nothing. He had blisters all up in his armpits. He's like, and we threw it all away, all this Old Spice stuff. So he's like, I won't use it again. The aftershave he'll use, but that's it. Then he actually used the Axe deodorant, like actual deodorant, same thing, another chemical burn. He's like, I'm not, I'm not using them. Now he uses the, the Dove and he, we do have a degree. I think it's an orange, it's an orange one. He will occasionally put that on. He has no problems, but that other shit he will not touch. It gives him bad chemical burns. So he does not touch it. But um, regularly though, as a rule, he doesn't wear deodorant and he never smells like B.O. Like never. And, um, but my son, as I was getting to, the other day I went to go, we play around and I was like blowing raspberries under his armpits. Tell me why it smelled like a sub shop up under his arm. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, you're seven. You smell like you got an onion patch under your arm. I was like, oh, my baby. Oh, my baby. But I'm like, seven years old? Like, isn't that like a little young for B.O. like that? I mean, you didn't smell it like when he walked by, but I was like right up in his pit blowing raspberries in it. And then that's all I could smell was freaking onions. I was like, oh, my God. Like, that shit stunk. So, we've been putting deodorant under him. What is this? Dove Men Care Shampooing and Conditioning. We we don't have um, the sage, but we do have one of these um, upstairs um, in the bathtub currently. Um, and I always, for Christmas, I always get him the Dove stuff because it actually, um, it works better and he does like that better. And last but not least... Well, I think we actually have a can of this upstairs, too, maybe. Oh, this is nice. This is Sensitive Skin Edge Shaving Gel. A little, little can. Oh, it says, for ultimate skin perfection, protection, use with Chic Hydro 5. So that's why they put um, these two together. together. You should use these two together. And then last but not least, there's a, a coupon in here for a lithium iron rechargeable cordless clippers. We need some new clippers. I'll probably save that for Christmas. Why use the iron lithium clipper, blah, 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 blah. So it's save $5 off. What the hell was that? Hold on for a second.
Okay, I'm back. I don't know if you heard that, but my son just like ran from his room to my room and was stomping. Um, so yeah, this is a fun hour coupon. But yeah, so this is a nice box. And what's good about this box is that everything in here I know my husband will use except for the deodorant and I know I will use that or I will give that one to my son because it's small. It, he doesn't really need it all the time, but um, but yeah, so all this stuff. And my husband travels a lot with work, so he can just throw these in his little um, bag and he'll be good to go and the ax stuff. So um, this box was only $5. You have to go on the Walmart Beauty Box. Um, website to um to order it it's for a limited time only like i said and this is not sponsored or pay i actually was excited because it's actually something for men and um i was actually excited to um check this out for uh or with my hubby but like i said he got called away from work but the box smells good but yeah, that's really cool. Like I said, five bucks for all that stuff. That's not bad. And it's just for shipping. I mean, the razor alone is probably like five freaking dollars. I mean, I mean, who knows how much. You know what? I'm going to look it up right now. I am going to look it up right now because I usually have you guys draped over my computer. So that's how. Okay, I got to scooch all over. Please don't mind my messy table back there. So what is it? A chick? My mind is insane. Okay, a chick. S C H. Schizophrenia is the first thing that pops up. I C K. Chick Hydro Five. Hydro five. Let's see how much it is. Okay, it's four ninety five at Walmart or six twenty five at Target, and the replacements are twenty six forty nine. So there you go. So basically, you paid for the razor and everything else was free, pretty much for the most part. So, I mean, they're all not full-size products, but still, I mean, they're all samples. But even samples, when you go to Walmart or Target for, like, the travel section, I remember you used to be able to get all that stuff for a dollar. Trust me, I know, because I used to stock it. Um, but, yeah, so, like, that's a pretty good bargain, I think, personally, if you ask me. But what, it's, what is it? It's my opinion. Who am I? So yeah, but um, so that was the men's grooming box. I liked it. I hope you guys liked it. Um, this day I wanted to tell you guys, oh my god, I have been bamboozled. I have been so crazy. Let me tell you a little quick story of what happened to me today. And my whole morning was consumed. So as many of you know, my regular subscribers, um, you guys know that I sell jewelry. And I found this new guy, this new wholesale supplier. He uh, contacted me because I guess one of, I have like two or three wholesalers that I buy from on the regular. And I do buy some things from eBay for my jewelry and uh, to resell. And um, I don't know how this guy, whatever, got a hold of me, whatever. So I ordered a whole bunch of, um, charms from him it was like $50 worth and um the way he had the um the pictures laid out on his uh website was I don't know if it's a guy or a girl I don't know but I'm just saying his but whatever um the way that their pictures were laid out was looked like that they were magnifying the charm and they were putting the charm in a glass dome or something crystal glass something like it was weird because whatever they were foreign whatever um 
So I ended up spending, I'm like, oh gosh, like some of these charms I really, really wanted. And I was like, okay, so I spent about $60. It was $54 and something cents. Each pack of charms was $5. And I bought, let's see, one, two, uh, I don't feel like counting them all, but I bought a lot of charms. You can do the math. So I get them yesterday and they were not at all how they were described and I was pissed I was pissed off and so I emailed him and I said look I said this is not what I ordered this is not how you had the picture in the description and then it's funny because when I went back all the pictures were changed and the wording was was all changed and I'm like, this is not how the description was previous to, um, you know, whatever. And he's like, no, no. He says the charms are in compliance with item description and item listing. No refunds. I can give you a 15% discount for your next order. I'm like, I'm not ordering anything else from you. I'm not going to. Um, I'm sorry this had to come this way, but I will ship all this stuff back to you. Just give me my refund and I will give you a tracking order as soon as I get my refund. And I will gladly 100% ship this out. And I'm not going to bullshit somebody on that. Well, first of all, there was no return address on this envelope whatsoever. And, um, and he wouldn't or he or she would not give me the return address. And they kept saying they couldn't give me a refund. And I was like, look, I said, I don't want to have to contact the company and dispute this because um, this one place where I buy from, there's like, a, it's kind of like an eBay, but it's like a wholesaler eBay. And, um, but it's like everybody, like, I don't know. Um, so... I said, well, I don't want to have to call and dispute this with the company. And they're like, we can't give you a refund. So that's what I ended up doing. I had to take a picture of every single charm. And I had to send it. And send them all in. And then they had to be approved and disputed by the company. So I don't know if I'm going to get my money back for all of them. But I don't. I don't know. So I'm going to show you real quick. Like some of them, and it was just mainly the quality and the fact that he lied and changed. So like this, this charm is supposed to be a lacrosse stick. Can you see a lacrosse stick in there? What they, what they did was what I thought was I thought I was getting... I can't even hold the fucking thing. Um, what I thought I was getting was the actual charm. And it looked like it was in the circle um, to magnify it. Because on his original pictures, well, even his pictures now, the picture is clear and it's vibrant and it's bright. And it's in a circle, but it looked like the circle was magnified. Like it was like describing as it was magnifying. It's not. Can you see a lacrosse stick in there? It just looks like a white, a white blob or something. I'm like, I can't even tell what this is. Where's the other one? Oh, I was so mad. I'm like, I do not want these. Like, these are supposed to be hot dogs. Okay, like, can you tell, even tell that is a hot dog? Like, what the hell am I supposed to do with these damn charms now, like ain't nobody gonna buy the oh here's the other one this was a pink woman's golf bag and basically like i said he just took pictures of the charms see like you don't even can't even tell what the hell if i didn't even tell you that this was a golf bag i it took me forever I had to actually go back to, through my order and figure out what the fuck this charm was i was so pissed and like <sighs> I mean, this is a sailboat, but who in the hell is going to buy that? Like, who's going to buy that? So now I'm stuck with all these damn charms. I mean, this was a martini glass. You know, I'm like, what in the world? This was a dreidel. That one's not too bad. I might be able to sell those. I don't, I don't know. 
There was a TP. And basically what he did, these are supposed to be golden, um, gold ribbons for, uh, because people have been asking for gold ribbons. And I was like, oh, he has a gold ribbon. Like, these are supposed to be watermelon slices. It just looks like three lines going across it. Like, I was so, like, here's another one. Like, what the hell am I going to do with this garbage now? I'm like... If I don't get my money back, I'm out 60 bucks. So I figured I will probably sell these at 25 cents a piece instead of a dollar because I don't know what else to do with them because I, unless the kids will like them because, I mean, they're too big. Like, where is, um, like, so here is one of my lockers. This is like my, if this one's broken, it doesn't, um, close all the way and this one's not one of my stainless steels but um this is like the main size locket that I have and this one I use for a lot of my pictures on my um on my uh Etsy store on my Facebook page and uh, for my jewelry so this is the one that I use all the time only because it's broken and I could just whatever but look how big these are in there you're only gonna get like three maybe four in there ow there's like something in my finger because if i hit my finger the right way it hurts um but yeah so i was so annoyed and basically what they did was take pictures if you know I'm not going to tell you the name brand of it, but if you know the name brand of this, basically what they did was take pictures of the name brand's charms, print them out, put them in epoxy or resin or um, whatever, slap a piece of uh, paper, cardstock on the back of it and call it a charm. So frustrated. So hopefully I will start hearing back from the company and see if I can get my money back from my order. If he still wants me to ship them out, that's fine. If not, if anybody wants a charm, let me know because I'll mail it to you for free. Okay, because I don't know what to do with them. Well, I wish I could mail them for free, but I at least want to try to get 25 cents for them. I'll put them in a bowl with my glow-in-the-dark charms and say everything in this bowl is for a dollar because this is ridiculous uh oh and actually I have other resin ones that I could probably get rid of this is probably what I'm going to do and at least I can make cl close back to what what I had and then so after all that after fighting with the company all morning and then sending pictures of every single charm taking pictures of each one and sending it um, me and my husband were talking and we were talking about moving. So he, I said, well, let me look online. I said, I haven't looked in a few days because like I said, we're not in a rush, but we would like to move eventually. Um, but we're not going to just settle for whatever comes. So I was online and I usually hit up Zillow, um, Craigslist, um, the Facebook marketplace, uh, some other websites and I usually check them and go about my my business because I usually end up on Craigslist last because I also look for vendor events on Craigslist and then I look for houses and stuff so I was on Craigslist and in the one area I type in each area we want to move into or move to and the one area we wanted to move into this place popped up now if it's just somebody says, oh, nice three-bedroom uh, house tucked away, blah, 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 and there's a phone number, I usually go to Google and I research that phone number. And if spam comes up right away, I don't even mess with it. Um, but there was this one... It actually came up. It said it was a Comcast user. It said the county they were in. Um... And all this other stuff. So I said, oh, so this must be actual landlord. But he didn't want to put, you know, maybe he just wanted serious 
people to contact him. So I emailed him because I don't call first. I will send an email through Craigslist. So I emailed him and I said, hey, um, I would like to see some photos of your home. And, you know, I was like, uh, if, you know, we could, I possibly could be interested in your home. So <clears throat> probably about five minutes go by after I sent the email. And I actually sent it through my day-to-day -day Ray Gmail account. And all of a sudden I get a, a message that my account has been shut down because it was a security something. I guess dude tried to hack into my account or something. Like he tried to hack through Google. I'm like, what in the world? Like, and then my main email for my day-to-day -day use for my real life, my, you know, my private, you know, all that stuff. Then that was shut down because that was linked to my day-to-day -day Ray page. And I'm like, oh my God, are you kidding me? And then... Because my main page, my main email is linked to my business email for my jewelry. All three of my emails that I use, everything was shut down due to security breach or security, whatever it was. So I had to reset. I had to, ugh, it was a pain in the butt. I was like, oh my God, I had to like do all this stuff. I couldn't understand. I couldn't tell if my if my emails were back up and running. So I, oh my goodness, what a freaking day. What a day. So I guess you need to be careful who you email. I'm not going on Craigslist anymore. Um, if I do, well, I probably will go on Craigslist, but I will send it to my husband before I email or contact anyone about a house on there because that was ridiculous. I could not believe that. Everything was shut down. And it was... Um, it was insane. I could, I've never had anything like that happen to me before. So, but yeah, so on that note, I'm going to wrap this video up. I, uh, um, I'm going to the movies tomorrow. So it was my best friend's, one of my best friend's birthday today. And, um, so tomorrow me, her and the kids were going to the movies cause there's like a dollar movies, but it's only like one day a week. And so we're going to take the kids there tomorrow. We'll probably do lunch and probably do some shopping. Um, and I think I'm going to try. I keep, uh, there's always stuff I want to do, but I can't get it done with the kid. And he wants to go swimming and then domestic goddess duties. I really want to try to make these emojis. I printed this out. This is what, um, like, to kind of show me how to make the emojis. But here's, like, all the little bits and bobs. So I want to, and I was thinking like for Fondant Friday, showing you how do I make my modeling chocolate. I'm sure, I don't remember if I did it before or not on this channel. I mean, I make it all the time. I mean, it's a Wilton recipe. But if I have a yellow, I don't know if I have yellow candy melts or not. But if I have white, I can make yellow. Whatever. I, I'll figure it out. But, um... But yeah, I really want to um, to make these and make some emojis. Maybe I'll make some cupcakes or something. I don't know. I don't really don't want to make cupcakes. Maybe I'll make some sugar cookies. And we'll put the emojis, make sugar cookies emojis for Fonda Friday. I'm not making promises. It's what I want to do. But who knows what between my son and my hubby and all that jazz, what will actually get done. So... Again, on that note, remember to be kind because you don't know what kind of battle someone's going through and what they're fighting. So be nice. Don't be a dick. Give somebody a hug. Shoot them a smile. Hold a door open. You never know. That one little teeny tiny act of kindness will just make somebody's day. So remember to do that because there is enough hatred and enough negativity in this damn world. Let's get it together, people. Get it together. All right, guys. I love you so much and welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to little old me. Um, I appreciate it. I appreciate it greatly. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.